about it. I was also gonna do last year. Sheepsters, hi YouTube, hope your day is going well. Today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me and kind of like a three in one as well. If we haven't met, my name's Chi Chi. I'm the blogger behind SuppleChic.com and SuppleChic TV here on YouTube. So if you like fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, then please consider subscribing down below. Today's video is sponsored by Mega Look Hair. So basically, I'm gonna take you guys with me and show you how I get ready for a gala. So if you wanna see how I achieve this entire look, and of course get the details on this gorgeous hair, then keep on watching all right so this is supposed to be a three by six lace frontal wig water wave virgin human hair lace wig okay this is the 20 inch length I got I guess it was like a it looks like a bob like the picture looks like a bob but I got a longer longer length so it's kind of like a longer bob for me the this part is hand tied I guess and then this part is like tracks sewn in. It has one, two, I think maybe four clips. Yeah, four clips. One in the middle, two on the sides, and then this one down here. Now, one thing I noticed when I got this was how soft this lace, that it's very soft and very pliable. Maybe it's because I'm used to like, you know, not this type of hair, but I felt like the lace was very pliable. Also, the color was kind of like mid-tone, but of course I ruined that now with the dye. So guys, I just wanted to show you guys what the hair looks in its natural state. This was washed. Mm, there is no product in this but conditioner. And as you guys can see, it's very wild, but kind of cute, you know? So this is me kind of like straightening it. I am using my blow dryer hairbrush. It's not bone straight, but it's straight enough. I already curled about a section of it. I'm going to... We're gonna chit chat while I curl this front section of it. Um, and yeah, so when I decided on, when I decided on like what this video was gonna be about, I knew I wanted to talk about this topic. I feel like over the last couple of, um, last week or so, that it's keep it keeps coming back as a topic that I think needs to be addressed in our community. Um, and it's just, a, it's basically, I guess, I want to talk about relationships um, and all things related. But the reason why this keeps coming, well, while this is coming up to me, I don't know, it's because YouTube keeps suggesting these videos. But I just feel like, and these opinions may be a little bit unpopular, but I'll, uh, you know, it is what it is at this point. I just feel like being an influencer and being a person of color especially a woman of color on social media is so different than um our non-black counterparts i feel like we are just asked to make a lot more concessions sometimes where you know in order to be considered relevant or valuable and I grew up in a patriarchal society. I'm, I'm Nigerian. I, I grew up, well, I was there till about, I was about nine and I went back. So I've had kind of like an American, a very sort of like hybrid upbringing in that, you know, I kind of partially grew up here. I partially grew up there. And I know that growing up there, I definitely saw the effects of patriarchy in my life. And, you know, in, and I also saw it in how it affected my mom as well. Um, and so coming to America, you know, you would think we're a more progressive society, um, you know, and the same sort of like, um, those same sort of bonds that, that held women back growing up in Nigeria. You know, you would think that those same bonds would not hold women, especially in 2019, but I honestly think it still does. There's still this worship, you know, there's still this value that's put on a woman if she's associated with a man. Um, and I feel like that is one of the reasons why, you know, women of color specifically almost have to prostitute their relationships in order to um, get more social clout. Um, and I can think of one YouTuber, clearly, this is a girl who had all things going from her, for her. She was a, a certain complexion, um, that's a video for another day. Um, and she was, you know, she, she was talented. Um, but in my opinion, and she was on her way, she was like, she's a rising star. Um, 
and but a couple of things happened to her that kind of changed her trajectory um one of them was a major life change happened and you know she kind of went she her life had to change from being like you know the instagram baddie type of life to a more like regular everyday person right but even with that i feel like her core supporters accepted her as she was i even feel like she may have gained more supporters because there are a lot of people in this day and age um who had the same sort of like life change so she was able to pivot her content and you know she was still growing she wouldn't have blown up as quickly as she blown up blew up if she didn't make one change last year or maybe it was two years ago um she started dating someone and the person started making regular appearances and i swear to you her views just quadrupled now this is a very pretty girl naturally um and then the person she was dating was also of the very pretty you know uh, what you call of the very pretty persuasion as well um and you know i just saw how her content just blew up because she started featuring this person she was dating i don't see him around as much so i'm thinking that they're not together i may be wrong maybe she shows him more on instagram maybe she just decides to stop showing him as much i don't know but man mo man did I see how people reacted to the fact that she had a man um and it's funny that I'm talking about this because yesterday one of my favorite youtubers here is Julesy. I just love her intellectual banter um, and she was discussing like a similar thing she was like why is it that women of color have to do all of this you know if you guys hear a noise I'm sorry Alex is being Alex um, why is it that women of color have to do the most you know in order to get views like why do I have to associate myself why do I have to associate myself? Why do I have to show who I'm dating in order to in order to gain clout? And I like I'm like why? Why do you have to do that? There's a lot of reasons to be private. You guys, some of you may or may not know Jamie and Nikki, but you know they were a family channel and now they're separated and their channel I think is still in limbo. And you know, it's so so it makes sense that people want to keep their families, you know, out of the spotlight because the fact is when you do that if something happens if things change uh you have to explain yourself and you can imagine how hard it must be to you know this is a very difficult thing to be dealing with in your life now you have to tell people about it so some of you will notice i'm I'm kind of private. I mean, I share some parts of my life, you know, like my everyday life, but I kind of, I tend to stare clear of the relationship side. But I feel like in the last year or so, I've definitely loosened up um, about my personal life and all that stuff. Because you know what? No one's life is perfect. Um, and people go through stuff. Uh, but I just... I just wonder about the motivations of people because I feel like people are so much more interested in knowing about dysfunction thanks to, you know, reality TV. You know, people are just so interested in talking about how women are making the wrong choices and laughing at other women like, oh, she's stupid. He cheating on her and she, you know, she stayed with him. Ha ha. That would never be me. But the truth is that whether we like it or not, we've all been that person. Um, and but I just feel like we in a lot of ways we like to see that someone's life is jacked up you know it brings us entertainment let me finish this hair start my makeup and then we'll continue this conversation and if you hear some noise there's some kids playing outside of my window um, I've done the base of my makeup I'm about to do blush eyes all that stuff um, I was going to use my new blush from Wet n Wild. Um, I did a video with them. If it is available, it's like a day to night look, which is kind of similar to this video. <laughs> Hope you guys like <laughs> nighttime content. Anyways, um, and I tried out one of their blushes and I am obsessed with that blush. It is just as good as my mac raisin blush for a fraction of the price and it's even better because it has a natural sheen to it 
but it's not here so i'm going back in with my mac i just feel like um there's this pressure you know on social media to always have your ish together and facts is that nobody does which is leads me back to what we were talking about before i went off camera um and i think that's one of the reasons why these women guard their families so much and i think that's one of the reasons why i guard or guarded my personal life so much because you know not everybody who watches you has the best intentions so right now i'm gonna go into the eyes my dress is actually a navy dress this dress was i'm sorry i've been looking up instead of down i'm sorry guys um this dress was actually um when I, it was actually on my closet sale i was selling it for ten dollars so i'm actually going to a gala um a christian christian seriano will be there hopefully i get to meet him it's about fashion and i found out about all of this on monday so i didn't really have time to really plan pick an outfit so i'm kind of glad that nobody bought that dress <laughs> because that's what i'm gonna wear the reason why i was selling dresses because it was kind of big for me but i have a hack for it so it'll work it out so i'm doing blue on my eyes now i'm gonna start with my transition color from the wet and wild like i said i was really impressed when tried wet and wild you should definitely check them out because i know they happen to be something that you know we use when we we're like a lot younger but they got some good stuff and they got shade range when it comes to foundation now if you can't find it in drugstore it's not their fault it's the drugstore's fault um definitely go to wetandwildbeauty.com um and you can find all of the products there i really like this transition color a lot it's warm it's kind of like a dark plummy color but it really warms up my eyes i was also going to do lashes <laughs> something i never do but i cannot find all right guys so if you want to know how i achieved this look i actually had a look that's very very similar that i did in collaboration with wet and wild um so i'm gonna put a link to that video if it's already live it's pretty much the same thing i have hooded eyes and very small lid space so doing um like smoky eyes and those kind of looks are a little tricky on me because the same techniques that work on you know the typical youtuber most of the time don't work on me so if you want like if you have similar eyes and you want to know how to do it um i'll put a link to that video um the only difference is that was kind of like a teal and this is more like a navy so i did my best <laughs> under the circumstances i'm gonna comb out this hair i was kind of i was going for like a 19 um 20 sort of like glam that's what i wanted i'm not sure if i actually achieved that i will say this though the hair is very very easy to work with um um i'm not sure if it's because it's naturally curly but it definitely holds a curl really well as you guys can see i one curled these um the hair super tight and i've been brushing it out over and over again to kind of get that whole wavy look i'm pretty sure if i brush it out enough like might be able to nail that but girl <laughs> anybody got time for that um so this is what the final look looks like let me know if you had to give me a rating between one and ten on ho old hollywood glamour um what would you give me <laughs> let me know um but overall as you guys can see it really took the dye pretty well um i dyed it a, a black it was like a kind of off black brown color and i think it took the dye beautifully especially on the ends so if you're worried about dyeing this hair you can definitely dye it darker i don't know about lighter but you can definitely dye it darker and like i said the hair is really affordable when it comes to like human virgin all that kind of stuff hair this hair is very affordable so i'm put, put a link to it of course in the description box below the gala I'm going to is kind of like showing off the history of fashion in Maryland. So I thought, you know, going kind of like old, sexy, sultry, um, I thought that that would really work with the theme of the, of the gala. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below.
gorgeous hair mega look has some super affordable um hair so if you're looking for some affordable lace front wigs then definitely open up the description box down below there's also going to be a coupon code as well and yeah don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed